Welcome back, awesome asteroid fans and subscribers. Today I'm looking at this uh, egg toy, capsule toy. It's a stag beetle, it looks like. Obviously not in the normal scales I play with, like 118, 112, 124, etc. But it will work with all of them as a rather large monster. Uh, so let's, uh, let me unbox this, turn the camera around, and let's take a look at this in detail. Let's have a go. That is massive. <laughs> I was not expected, expecting it to be that big, and the the uh, egg casing, the capsule casing, converts into a flight stand, which is on now. It looks like a real one. I mean, it's tropical size, not the one to get in the UK. You can take the wing, the inner wings off, and close the shell if you want for a lot of more of a walking look. That is huge. Let me just take off the flight stand. That is just one massive bug. That is one one, or maybe it's a uh, one to zero point seven five bigger than one one scale. That is a huge, huge bug. Let's change the camera down a little bit. Look at that. That is massive. Give an idea of scale. Let me pick up my uh, uh, Marvel Legends Killmonger figure. Yeah, that's you can see that is as long as him from tip of the uh, wing going back into the top of the uh, mandible the jaws at the top that is huge not something he'd want to face I'm sure if I get a uh, acid rain world Norinu Sentinel yeah he doesn't want to be fighting that uh, I will say this, this is a model, not a toy. Good for photography, but not easy to pose because things will pop out and pop off because you have to do a lot of assembly. All the legs, the mandibles, the antenna, the wings below. If the black parts that cover come off, you can put them back on too. Very detailed, very, very nice. Um... That's actually quite scary, if I'm honest. You could leave that somewhere in the grass and someone's sitting there freak out because it's huge. There is some simple articulation in the jaws, in the legs, and in the wings. It's a nice model, but again, it's not a toy. If you open up these parts, you can just pop off. You can see the details on the back there. You could pop off the wings if you wanted to. Let's try to do this without popping anything else off. Come on. Ah! There, I popped off the wrong part. Never mind. No, oh, you know what? I'm not going to uh, You know what? Let me just do it off camera because it'll be slightly easier. A, a, a better position for me to do it in. I can pop on the... Uh, the uh, black part again. The uh, outer exoskeleton shell, hopefully. Which is not the easiest thing to do. Really want some pliers to do this, but let me try one more time. If I can get it done, I can. If I can't, I'll just show you from one side what it looks like without the actual wings. You know what? I'm going to leave it on there loose because I'm struggling, struggling with that at the moment. And I don't want to have you guys waiting for too long. So let's just get that out of the way. That will come down, that will cover. Obviously, this would go on the other side if I clip it back on. And then got a nice big stag beetle ready to scare your family, your friends, attack your action figures, and so on. Fantastic. Okay, please click on the notification icon and subscribe if you're not done so already. And check out my videos, there's over 900 on the channel. And I'll be back soon with more awesome actual video reviews for you guys. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye bye.